Would you dress your pet up? Courtney Cox caused uproar over a video of her dog wearing <laughs> outfits. There, she just thought, I'm just going to post this nice video, Super cute, cute pictures. Yeah. Social media is filled with animals in eye-catching numbers, just like this one. Is it damaging, though, to the animal? I, up until yesterday, thought this was hilarious. Charlotte Hawkins put me right. Mm, she's very much against it, isn't she? Kerry Prinzi organises chihuahua pageants and says it's <laughs> fine as long as they're comfortable for dogs, just like her little dotty there, who's got a little outfit on herself. <laughs> uh, but presenter and animal campaigner Wendy Turner Webster thinks it is demeaning. We're also joined by some of the four legged members of our family who have dressed <laughs> up specially for the occasion. Primrose <laughs> doesn't look quite as into it as some of the others, uh, but they've certainly been enjoying all the attention. Wendy. I thought this was all fun and games, but what is your concern about the dog wearing the costume? OK, well, if I may, I'm going to read out two sentences from the RSPCA website, which I found last night. Uh, Dressing animals up in costumes and using them for entertainment can harm their welfare. It's, and this is the important bit. It's also a symbol of the way in which animals are used as objects for our entertainment rather than recognised as sentient beings with their own needs and feelings. So I feel that dressing dogs up in silly costumes reinforces this idea that animals are there for our entertainment. And then, you know, you take it further, that's why we want to be entertained at the zoo and at a horse race and at a dog race or, mm. you know, at, at, at dolphins and whales in captivity, you know, and, and it's just that idea that, that sits really uncomfortably with me, that I know often it's the best intentions and it's all kind of seen as fun. Right, there's, Kerry. There's a, there's a different side to it, a harsher side yeah. to it. Kerry, this is now the RSPCA saying that mm. it's not healthy for Dottie to dress up in a costume. There is conflicting advice from the RSPCA. Obviously, it's something we've looked into with the events. Um, and they do also say that if it's done in a sensible way and they're not in an outfit for long, it's OK. Um, so typically, how long would Dottie be in that little outfit that you've got her in there? So the jumper, I mean, this is just a jumper to keep her warm. Um, she wouldn't go outside without it at the moment. She's freezing. She'd just twiggle it up. And that's very common with chihuahuas, especially. OK, they have, that um, was a more dramatic picture that we just had there. <laughs> Is that uh, the Grinch? Is that... Oh, <laughs> that's that... rainy. Right. So that and... outfit, that one, um, it was literally just a bandana. And the way that I did the headdress on it, it's on a like a pipe cleaner, so it hovers above her head, so it's not even touching her. So to her, that doesn't feel any Was yours hovering as well? Because that's a big old bug. <laughs> Mine wasn't hovering. Mine no. was much more annoying. But you see, the problem <laughs> is, Kerry, for every one of you who can read your uh, dog's... Um, demeanor. Emotions, yeah, yeah, demeanor and emotions, and you're uh, obviously, uh, you know, a very good animal pet owner. Um, for every one of you, there's a hundred other people who own a pet who are irresponsible, um, ignorant, and do it I just because they mean. want to get clicks on You can on say that about Instagram. anything to do with pet ownership, though. You have to, uh, to a certain extent, you have to trust that people will have their dog's welfare at heart. But also, if you don't trust that, which, I mean, we can't trust that everybody does, then, you know, you can put things out there like today, we can talk about, about it, we can discuss it, and we can teach people how to do things sensibly. Yeah. When, do you, uh, when I look at... So, my favourite costume, as I say, up until 24 hours ago, <laughs> when I suddenly thought again, <laughs> is the little pirates. <laughs> but now that I'm aware that actually these little dogs might be saying, why are you laughing at me? I'm come running towards you because I want you to take this costume off. Mm. I feel a little bit more concerned about them. Yes, because if I... there's that sense of, you know, it's hang on. It's <clears> demeaning, <throat> I think. It's not, it's not dignified. It's not funny and to Do you be not pointed think and laughed at. It's demeaning emotions onto a dog, though. So, a lot of the time, people have this argument and they'll say they're dogs, let them be dogs, and then they will, like Wendy mm. just done, attribute a human emotion to them. So, which is it? Are yes, they but aren't they just beautiful dogs, enough they, are they... in their own you've right? Got, Why do got, they need costumes? You've got then? a dog, Wendy, haven't you? Yes, Have yes. you ever put, like, a, an, an outer coat on or something when it's wet or it's really, really cold and you've been for a long walk? Have you got... Have you got a, any sort of clothing? I mean, is this your dog here? <coughs> Where is she? Yes. yes. Now, the one with the hat on that you've just yeah. shown, I bought that because it was meant to um, deaden the sound in her ears because she gets very frightened for the fireworks. It la You can see by her face, she hated it. It lasted mm, yeah. 10 seconds. 
and then so I took it off and but we had you, to... do you not... Is there much of a departure from putting something on to protect her, something to keep her warm? I think that jumper that's on Dottie is mm. to keep her warm. <clears throat> it's not much of a stretch to go, then put something that's a bit more glamorous or a bit more fluffy or a bit more colourful on. I just, they, they I just really don't, 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 don't like, and I don't like what it says about animals or for our entertainment. I don't like the silliness I of it. I feel like people just show their love for their pets in different ways and they want to put some of their personality onto their pets. So, for example, obviously I've come today off of the back of me doing an event where we do have a dog pageant and stuff, but I don't personally have big dresses for my dogs. And it's not because I feel like those people have anything wrong with them for doing that, but it's because my personality isn't a big frilly personality, so I'm not then projecting that okay, onto my dogs. So let's have a look. Is it cruel to dress your pets in <clears> costumes <throat> and the majority Say Just, yes. Though. It's very tight. Yes. Yeah. 56%. Our dogs this year have behaved impeccably, mm. by the way. Uh, the three on the left, uh, which is Margot, Colin and, and Dolly, know where the food is. Primrose <laughs> is steering clear with the food on the other end, who doesn't look quite as happy to be here.